It's, that's an ex excellent question. It's both. I think uh, it's, a it's a business problem that needs a technical solution to enable it. Um, at the moment, to put in an LTEU system into a Wi-Fi system, which has a much higher duty cycle on LTEU that will bring down the Wi-Fi performance, it's not something that any of us as consumers want. And if you're building this for consumers, you have, to, you have to honor the consumer, right? So we're stuck on Wi-Fi. You know, if you look at a survey at the moment, I mean, Wi-Fi after food and drink and shelter, it's batteries and Wi-Fi, right? That's the two next things that human beings need. So don't mess with Wi-Fi. But at the same time, we understand that there are better technologies and ways to do things. So by, you know, by putting the LTU standard, which is currently run by the LTU forum into some standardized environment like IEEE or 3GPP, as we've seen in Europe, and finding a solution to the listen before talk problem and making the LTU a little bit more um, supportive of its Wi-Fi neighbors so that an LTU device does not detriment or is not detrimental to the network as any Wi-Fi device would, would be, that would be a workable solution certainly. And then the business case can be a convergent solution there. Is there anything else you'd like to highlight? Um, you know, I think I think this is that you know Wi-Fi is definitely the, the hot topic at the moment and I think generally, you know, keeping your customer, as a service provider, keeping your customers on a Wi-Fi connection is important. Um, being able to provide them with a Wi-Fi solution that doesn't make them rush out to retail and to buy too many, you know, too many w different Wi-Fi solutions, right? Trying try to give them a best-in-class Wi-Fi solution and to make sure that service delivery over that Wi-Fi solution is optimal for them. At the same time, Internet of Things is, is popping up as well. Internet of Things is, is typically wireless. It does, 75% of it may go on in the Wi-Fi space as we get more um, technologies that have lower power Wi-Fi solutions. But Inter Internet of Things still incorporates uh, Zigbee, Bluetooth, Z-Wave, 802.15.4, which is what Zigbee uses. And those technologies, which are wireless, will also become very important to the consumers over the next two or three years. So expect to see you know, the low power wireless solutions like um, 802.15.4 and Bluetooth and also Wi-Fi and also LTEU coexist in a very interesting environment in the future.